finish up this problem real quick, all you guys simply need to do is just multiply by the conjugate, right? Remember, we cannot divide by our radical number, so we're going to want to make sure we multiply by our conjugate. So the conjugate in this problem is going to be 2 plus the square root of 6, and you multiply that on the top and the bottom. Okay. Now, we just have two different multiplication problems that we need to do, and I'm going to use the box method to help me keep everything organized. So I have to multiply my numerators, and I have to multiply my denominators. And again, I like using the box method just to make sure everything is neat and in order. <coughs> so this is the multiplication process for the denominator, and this would be the multiplication process for the numerator. So all I do is I take both, both terms. Does everybody see how I have this set up? You have to multiply binomials in the numerator and in the denominator. Square root of negative 6. Square root of negative 6. So now, to use the box method, you just find the area of each box. Length times width. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 2 square root of 6 is 4 square root of 6. 3 times square root of 6 is 3 radical 6. Square root of 6 times 2 times square root of 6 is going to be 2 square root of 6 squared. We'll simplify that in a second. Over here, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative square root of 6 is 2 negative square root of 6. 2 times positive square root of 6 is 2 kind of square root of 6. Square root of 6 times negative square root of 6 is negative square root of 6 squared. We'll simplify that in a second. Remember, this is your denominator, and that's your numerator. Now, let's write out our answer. Now, remember, these two terms have the same rat at the end. So therefore, we can combine them. All right. So I have 6. 3 radical 6 plus 4 radical 6 is going to be 7 radical 6. Here, square root of 6 squared is just 6 times 2 is 12. Right? And then over here, I have 4. This becomes 0 square root of 6. And then negative square root of 6 squared just becomes a negative 6. So that's numerator or denominator. So let's simplify. 18 plus 7 square root of 6, which is your numerator, over the denominator, which is negative 2. And that's it. Any questions on this? OK. Then I'll do number 10.